Hello, my name is John Sveck. Welcome to this All 24 video. Uh, Coach Waterman and I today are joined by Coach Ben Dandria. He is the special teams coordinator and DB coach at Queen's University. Thanks for being with us, Coach. Thanks for having me, guys. Uh, we're going to do a special teams one clip here. Uh, coach Waterman, if you would do the honors and just tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay, so we have a kickoff play here. Uh, so obviously we're kicking off. It's the fourth quarter, so it's not the opening kickoff of the game. So that's the situation we have here. Uh, tough to see the, the whole field uh, yet. So we'll just let this run a little bit, Coach, and you can uh, tell us what you're thinking. First of all, anything come to mind when you see the, the placement of the ball? Do you look at that with your guys? Yeah, we do 100%. Uh, to me, we would just kind of classify this as, you know, a right hash, if you would, for the kickoff team. Um, again, uh, it, it's tough saying without, you know, having a prep for Acadia in this scenario, but you can see it's a balanced formation, a six by five formation. Um, you know, it, it's relatively close to the hash. Uh, and again, generally speaking, when it's this close to the hash, uh, the ball's kicked deep to that side of the field. Um, I mean, I could be wrong in this scenario, but we'll, we'll see how it goes with that. Do you have any rules for your guys when it comes to where they align and, um, you know, how they get themselves to, you know, being as close as possible without being offside on the, on the run up? Yeah. So we, we actually do a bit more of a bow than what you see here. You see more of a flat line look, uh, from Acadia. The reason why we bow is it's just a little bit easier to see, um, that kicker on his approach. And secondly, we don't allow that for our, the wider guy to go before that interior player has passed them so that we're all kind of basically going by um, each other as, as that ball is kicked. Uh, and essentially what I try to tell the guys is slow down. And, and I don't care if you're two yards behind the last scrimmage, as long as you hit the line at full speed, you know, the last thing you want to do is have some speed and then have to tiptoe at the, at the line of scrimmage while the kicker's kicking and then, and then go down the field. You want to hit it with speed and with some momentum into it. Perfect. Let's see a little bit more here. All right. So yeah, fourth quarter, squib, squib type kick or punch type kick, whatever you want to look at. Uh, it's actually a great job there um, by letting that ball be uh, fielded by the returner here. You can see it. One of the, uh, one of the back row players here, um, you know, has an opportunity to field that ball, but he actually just lets it go through. And instead of trying to field it, he goes and looks for the next most dangerous man. Let the guy that's, you know, designed to handle that football handle the football and, uh, you know, squib type scenario, it's very difficult to get a return. Um, you know, it, it's the timing's all messed up on the kickoff return side of things. Uh, you know, generally speaking, the ball is in place where it is. And a lot of the time as your kickoff return players, their eyes are drawn to the ball because first things first, you got to make sure you secure possession. So, um, you know, it looks like everybody's the, everybody on the KOR unit has done a pretty good job here on the return side to realize, okay, that's not my playable ball. I'm going to fit in and try, try to make a return. So this is what we'd call a mayday situation on the KOR side of things. Uh, we would call mayday. Um, and again, you know, having scouted uh, teams and, and having some things in place that, you know, we might've called a field return on this play, but you're getting a squib situation. A field return is probably not your best uh, choice for this. So we would give a mayday, mayday call and, and try to get that return to kind of find a seam at whether it's a wedge or a quick boundary return, something like that, whatever you've kind of scouted for that game. So looks like, uh, you know, um, a lot of those players have done a good job at just going to find the next dangerous. Uh, and having said that, Acadia, you know, has done, you know, has perfected that punch or squib kick, if you will. You know, it's a great bounce. Uh, it's gotten to the back row. It's taken a lot of the timing off. And, and a lot of those players have, have worked their way downfield and beat those front row blocks. And you're right, Coach. You know, kickoff returns one of the most difficult things to sink in the game of football uh, with that, you know, the depth of the kick variance and, and then the blockers trying to – they throws it out of sync. So – your mayday call that just alerts them to convert earlier. Is that what you're, you're asking them to do? Yeah, hundred percent. And sometimes it would mean converting to a different return. So like I said, if, if, you know, we had a field return on in this scenario, um, you know, we get a, a moonshot or a squib kick or something like that. We're going to give a mayday call. What that is, is basically get, get what you can uh, for the given situation. And, and a lot of the time, you know, when mayday is done well, you know, you can actually get the timing down and get a decent return out of it as well. 
From the kickoff uh, team perspective, are you changing the lane responsibilities when you guys know that you're squibbing? That's a, basically a different play for you guys or? Yeah, 100%. And again, it, it depends on where you're squibbing on the field. Um, but, but definitely a lot of those uh, interior players are basically all going to be shot guys now. And uh, what I tend to do is have some of those outside players. As you can see, that the number one guy to the field here on Acadia is actually just fully crashing in as a second safety. Um, again, the chances of them running a field return here aren't great. And even if they do, he can collapse back to the outside there. Um, so you tend to have a few more safety nets, um, but you know, that, that returns usually confined to one small area. So you can kind of, um, attack it a little bit differently for sure. And coach, one final thing from my perspective is when you're looking at guys that fit your kickoff team, is there some specific things you're looking for play from players to, to run down on kickoff for you? Yeah, what, what's great is there, I use a lot of different kinds of players, you know, um, our special teams player of the year, the last three years, you know, he's a, uh, he's a running back by trade, but he just has this crazy tenacity and, and, you know, he's, uh, he's a bigger guy. And I, I still claim that he's the fastest guy on the team because I've never seen anybody beat him down the field on kickoff. So, there you go. Um, you know, he's one of those kind of wrecking ball players that he, he tends to take two or three blocks every time. And a lot of the time he makes a tackle as well. And then, you know, we have, we have other players too, you know, we'll have, you know, some of our faster receivers that understand their leverages really well uh, to go down the field uh, for certain kicks. To me, you know, speed, it, speed is a ton and it's not necessarily your 40 time. It's, it's how well, how well you're moving down the field and how well you're avoiding blocks and again, using your leverage. In, and to me, kickoff is one of the most aggressive teams, uh, you know, you should have if your guys are kind of sitting and waiting on the kickoff team, you're, you could be in trouble because that's when those seams start to pop up. And, and usually that guy that's getting the ball on the play is usually pretty quick. So um, our guys, we have, if you will, uh, what we call the limestone wedge busters. We just have guys that will be going down and just kind of wreaking havoc and, and trying to get down there as fast as they can while avoiding blocks. And then you have the other guys that are great smart football players. that will come in and fill in, in different scenarios. Those are those want to guys, eh? We call them those guys that want yeah. to get down there and make that play. You got to have yeah, those. 100%. Yeah, that dog pulling on the leash kind of thing. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Oh, well, that's phenomenal. Thanks uh, Thanks again for being here with us, Coach. It's been a great uh, one clip. Good talking football with you. Yeah, thanks, guys.